Okay, so <laughs> we we did the video where I opened the NFL uh, Mega Box, the one that got all trashed, uh, being delivered from the nice folks at Federal Express. Uh, as you can see, if you compare these two, uh, <laughs> it was. I mean, we got some decent cards out of there, but man, that box looked uh, scared me for a moment. So I went to a. Another Walmart, I went directly there, got it myself, picked it out of, I think they had four or five on the shelf, so I picked the one uh, I most wanted, but uh, not to uh, do it without, I went to a, a local Target, and I picked out their Mega Boxes, Mega Bucks as well. Uh, as you can see, the boxes are clear, clearly different, the Walmart is uh, square pretty much, and then the Target is uh, rectangular. They both come with 54 cards, but the price is completely different. I think the Walmart was 55 uh, 50 or 55, but the target was 45. So, I mean, for the same amount of cards, you get, I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty decent amount. I was expecting to be 60 at Target, uh, because usually Target is uh, a little bit more expensive with their mega boxes, but this time they were cheaper, so that was quite a surprise. Um, nine card per pack, set six packs per box, so 54 cards. Uh, you will get 12, uh, different brands. Uh, including the uh, recon insert this one has the uh, exclusive unparalleled insert so they do have different inserts in there uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure out which <laughs> which ones those are uh, considering there's 12 different brands um, I don't know all of them uh, I have opened up uh, packs a blaster pack as well as the other mega box uh, I'm just opening up looking for particular players uh, you know, we have the good ones. We have Brock Purdy. We have Desmond Ritter. We have Kenny Pickett. But also, there's a few other good ones. I guess there's uh, Amon Sauce, uh, Gardner, uh, and a few other ones, a few other popular ones out there. So, I just want to open them up, see if there's any, uh, you know, really cool uh, variations. Uh, I don't know if there's any autos. I have no idea. I'm not going to look onto the side. I really don't... Uh, look at those numbers because they, they really mean nothing to me in particular. I just like opening up cards and seeing what they have. And being a big fan of football, I have my, my favorites. Obviously, I have uh, the Atlanta Falcons, the local team, and then uh, I grew up with the 49ers as well. So anyway, that's enough of that. But first, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, that would be uh, much appreciated. As uh, still trying to grow the channel, uh, trying to get to 100 subscribers before uh, the end of summer. And I promise, once we hit 100 subscribers, uh, I will do some type of uh, giveaway. Not exactly sure what it is, but uh, it'll be something worthwhile. It'll probably be like a blaster box uh, or, of some sort. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have I have quite a few around here, so it'll be something uh, to give away. And then as the channel grows, uh, the giveaways will be uh, much cooler. So, anyway... Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Walmart box, uh, just because that's what I choose. <laughs> just, we'll go ahead and, and get going. If you guys haven't seen the other video I did where I compared three hanger boxes with a blaster box, um, you can check that other video uh, on my channel. I might post the link. Uh, somewhere around here. Uh, I haven't done that before, but you know what? Uh, if I remember, I'll do it. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and get this going. I'm, I'm going to move the Target Mega Box out of the way. Sorry for hitting the camera. The, the cable's right in front of me. Uh, I'm going to lift this one up and just kind of push it here to the back. Uh, just to give me a little bit more space. I'm still trying to work on getting, securing a uh, another spot to do these. Something a little bit more traditional, like what you see with the other uh, people who, uh, other channels that open up uh, cards and boxes, something a little bit with a different angle, getting a different camera, what have you. But I'm working with what I've got for now. So we'll go ahead uh, and uh, get going. All right. So we have Malik Willis. Then we have Dak Prescott with the Cowboys. Then we have an upside down card. We have Malik Willis again. Then we have Garrett Wilson with the Jets. Then we have Christian Watson with the Packers. Now we have a backwards card here. We have Greg Dolchich 
We're going to flip this one over. Maybe it's something cool. Maybe. I guess this is the, this is the unparalleled insert. Uh, I'm presuming because it has the U in the, in the corner. So, man, it would have been cool if it would have been uh, maybe an auto or something. We have a black prism. We have uh, Brian Robinson Jr. That is pretty cool. Try not to drop these, but they're so slick. Then we have another, it looks like a, a teal of uh, Christian Watson. And then our last card, we have another black prism. We have Josh Allen. So that is, uh, that is awesome. It's not numbered, but uh, pretty cool. Two black prisms in one pack. I think I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep uh, the thought I had to myself. So we do get the teal inserts as well. It's not as uh, not as shocking as the pink inserts that was in the blaster box, but not as uh, subtle as the bronze parallels that were in the blaster boxes. Uh, not blaster box, the uh, hanger boxes, uh, hanger packs. Uh, we have Tom Brady. Then we have Drake London, Justin Herbert, who's uh, not hurting for cash at all. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, the second. Then we have a Bailey Zappi. Then we have, uh, was that Tyreek Hill? Sam Williams. Then we have a Teal. Teal. Amon Sauce Gardner. That's pretty cool. And then lastly, we have Malik Willis. I have to say, with all the different brands, these are... Chronicles is... Uh, at first, I wasn't uh, too uh, keen on the Chronicles brand. Um, I thought it was a little too much with all the different brands, but it's actually starting to grow on me a little bit. So, I will admit, because I, I opened some of these with baseball, and I did not like it at all. And I think most likely because of that they didn't have the uniforms on and that's a uh, sticking point for me so but with the nfl i these, this is turning into a quite pleasant experience opening the different brands uh garrett wilson then we have christian watson doing a backflip or he's really really extreme on mooning uh the audience there uh another christian watson then we have a uh, sam howell with the commanders under new ownership I think uh, Magic Johnson owns like 4%, but hey, that's more than what I own. Uh, Desmond Ritter with the Falcons. We're going to put that one off to the side. I'm going to sleeve that one up. Then we have Christian Watson with uh, like the, the clear acetate, whatever. Uh, Trayvon Walker. Then we have another teal of Quay Walker. And then another teal of Tariq Woolen. So let me grab slat, uh, put that one in a saver. Desmond Ritter. Hopefully he does well for the Falcons this year. Uh, it's been a struggle uh, being a Falcons fan over the years. Uh, we're still in pain over that Super Bowl. That Super Bowl was, was rough. I don't think we've ever hurt so much. Uh, we have uh, Malcolm Rodriguez. Then we have George Pickens with the Steelers. Then we have Tyler Algier. Drake London again. Then we have Garrett Wilson with the Jets. Then we have Matt Corral with the, well, the Panthers. Matt Corral, if you will. Then we have Kalen Thibodeau. Not sure which... Is that... That's the Giants. Okay. Then we have Joe Burrow with the Bengals. Hopefully uh, his uh, injury isn't too less, doesn't last too long. Then another teal with Trayvon Walker. Yeah, it didn't look too well. It looked either like a calf or an Achilles injury. Hopefully it's not uh, something that's going to take him months to recover. All right, second to last pack of this box, this mega box. Uh, Trayvon Walker. Then we have Damian Pierce. 
Then we have Kenneth Walker the third with the Seahawks. Then we have Aiden Hutchinson. Then we have James Cook. What is he cooking? I don't know. Ah, uh, Kenneth Walker the third again. Then Jahan Dotson. And then Trayvon Walker. And our last card is Kayvon Thibodeau. Seem to seem we seem to see the same like dozen players. <laughs> <clears throat> it was like the selects where I kept running into like a George Karloftis. All right, we have Desmond Ritter telling us it's good. Then we have a Brock Purdy. That's pretty awesome. Let's leave him up. Then we have Malik Willis again. Then we have a Bailey Zappi. Then we have a Brees Hall. Oh, it looks like we have another backwards card. Who is it? Who is it going to be? Probably another unparalleled, I presume. James Cook. Well, we, it's a Trayvon Walker. Let's see what we... And it's a... I mean, it's a prism. Well, not a prism prism, but... All right. <laughs> Black Prism that was just backwards. Nothing uh, numbered or special from what I could tell. Then we have Danny... Uh, what was it? I forget his name. <laughs> Danny Gray, that's it, with a teal. And then lastly, we have Damian Pierce with a teal. So that was our Walmart Mega Box. Where we got, I think, one Desmond Ritter and uh, uh, two Desmond Ritters and one Brock Purdy. So, not a bad box. Just an okay box. I think we, I think we got only one unparalleled. I was putting a Desmond Ritter all upside down and backwards, not paying attention. Such as a, a bad habit of mine. So that was that was Walmart. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Tarjay. I used to work for these guys many many years ago, to the point where I didn't even cut the box correctly. I, my knife didn't go all the way through. All right, that one worked. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, I used to work for them a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. And, uh, you know what? They weren't a bad company to work for. I quite thoroughly enjoyed it. But, uh, there comes a point in time. Uh, you have to move on. So, I, I think I worked there for about a year and a half. Now, here, the box, the packs are a little bit different. Box a little bit different. They're right there in the middle. So, if this would have been delivered by FedEx, it would have gotten smashed uh, right here on the top. So, those cards probably would have been absolutely destroyed. Whereas, the Walmart ones, they, they sat a little bit further down. Uh, so, the difference with the Walmart ones, they were fully at the bottom, so they didn't get smashed. But this one, they're a little bit more protected. But since uh, they're right there at the top, they probably would have gotten damaged severely. But uh, we were quite lucky with that uh, damage box. Ugh. Trying to scoop my chair up and shake the camera as much as I possibly can at the same time. All right, so on to the Target Mega Box. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Looks like we have another prism here. We'll get to that in just a moment. We have a Damian Pierce. Then we have a Saquon Barkley. Then we have a Romeo Dalbs. And then we have a Tom Brady. Followed by Brian Robinson Jr. Then we have... This, maybe this is the insert for the target ones. Recon. Yes, this is the insert. Uh, Bailey Zappi. Looks like a 1970s Tron. Uh, he's being chased by one of those creatures from uh, Galaga. <laughs> 
but it's still a pretty cool card. But uh, <laughs> that, that's the first thing I think of is like <laughs> it, it looks like those creatures like are coming down, uh, <laughs> about to shoot them. All right, then we have another Bailey Zappy with a score. Then we have a Teal Garrett Wilson, and then our Prism Black Prism is a Jalen Hurts, and this is actually a, a Prism. So the brand Prism, and it's actually a Prism. Oh my good goodness, that's a that's a mouthful. All right. Next on our wonderful journey, we have a. Christian Kirk with the Jaguars. Uh, Andy Dalton with the New Orleans Saints. Tom Brady again. Looks like he's uh, uh, doing the locomotion or something. I, he, he looks happy or he's extreme on putting on his helmet. Uh, we have our first Kenny Pickett. Or maybe our only Kenny Pickett, but our first. Uh, Alec Pierce with the Colts. Then we have a Sam Williams. Looks like he's with the uh, Cowboys. Uh, then we have Eric Ozukama, Kanma. Hopefully I said that correctly. Then we have Matt Corral. And then lastly, a Teal, Drake London. We have two Teals. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a Kayvon Thibodeau, Tariq Woolen. We have a Brock Purdy. Then we have a Brian Robinson Jr. Looks like he's uh, laying down for a nap. Then another Kayvon Thibodeau. Then we have an upside down Kenneth Walker III. Followed by another Kayvon uh, Walker. Uh, not Kayvon. Did I... Kenneth. It's Kenneth. Why am I saying Kayvon? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Then we have a Teal. Malik Willis. And then we have another Teal Desmond Ritter. So that's that's pretty cool. We have gotten three rookie cards so far. Let me sleeve these bad boys up. Yeah, today was a very busy day. My wife is working. It's a Saturday. And, uh, you know, when she goes to work on a Saturday, then uh, all of her to-do lists become my to-do list. So this morning I was driving all around creation. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. All right, Jalen Hurts. Looks like he's uh, having fun going into the end zone or just trying to run like... Uh, Mario or something. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Then we have Aaron Donald, who's uh, giving maybe his best RVD impression. I don't know. Then we have Garrett Wilson. Then we have Traylon Burks. Then we have a uh, Drake London. And behind him we have another Ahmad Sauce Gardner. And then we have Bailey Zappi with the Patriots. And lastly, Garrett Wilson with the Flux Capacitor. Okay. We have a Mike White. Lamar Jackson with the Ravens. He just signed a, a new deal. Aaron Rodgers, with, who's here with the Packers, but has moved on to the Jets like uh, another uh, old Packer. Hopefully he doesn't uh, do his retirement in Mississippi. Uh, we have Drake London. Then we have another Drake London. Uh, Malik Willis. Then we have a Kenny Pickett. We have Brees Hall. And we have a Teal. Brock. Purdy. 
So far, I'm, I'm thinking this uh, this Target Mega Box seems to be pulling out uh, a, a few bangers here. All right, we are down to our final pack of the Panini Chronicles. We are almost close to the end. We have Javante Williams, Geno Smith with the Seahawks, Trayvon Walker. We have, looks like, Amon Sas Gardner. Then we have an Aiden Hutchinson. Then we have Aaron Rodgers. And then behind him we have a Josh Allen. Is this a is this a prism or just a regular? A regular Josh Allen. But that's pretty cool. And the we got a the prism one in the Walmart, so hey. That that's pretty cool to get both of them. And then we have a teal James Cook. And last, we have a Brian Robinson Jr. Looks like it's a teal variant. So, that right there, 54 cards. We have opened up 18 packs for 108 cards. And so far, of all the, the picks we got from Walmart, I mean, there were, some, there were some okay ones. I mean, we got the two Desmond Ritters. And we got the 49ers. I can't complain. Those are my two teams right there. And then with... I forget, were any of these pink? Or, uh, I'm sorry, any of these teal? They were not. We got a teal Desmond Ritter. We got a Brock Purdy. We got another Brock Purdy teal. And two Kenny Pickett. So, just off the numbers alone, the Target one uh, gave a little bit more as well as uh, <laughs> that wasn't a teal. This one was a teal, as well as a teal variant. So as far as I could tell, or at least in my opinion, I'm sure, you know, a lot of the other cards are pretty cool. We did, uh, I mean, I'm going to have to give Target <laughs> the win here. We just got a few more of uh of the rookies I'm looking for personally, um, you know, but I mean, both of them were, were pretty good, but considering the target was five to $10 cheaper, I, I got quite a bit more out of it. So the edge goes to, to target. If I were to go out and buy another one right now, I would go to target and, uh, buy a mega box there, but you're going to get good stuff either way. Uh, you get some awesome rookies, you get some awesome cards. Um, so there, there it is. I mean, that's my opinion on it. Tell me, what do you guys think of the difference between the Walmart and the Target Mega Boxes? Did you find them about equal, or did you did you feel the Walmart was better? Let me know. Post in the comments below. That's it for me. Uh, <laughs> I, there's not much more I can say here. I really enjoy opening these boxes up. I re really enjoy doing these things. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun, but. One thing I would like from you guys is to hit that like button uh, if you like what you saw. But also, uh, hit that subscribe button uh, to help out the channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of summer, uh, like I said earlier. But anyway, like I said, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.